We start with the U.S. Constitution, and uh, and then the U.S. Constitution goes to the what do you call the, the the House Rules? It really sounds like the House Rules. The House Rules. So the 117th Congress right, says right. the rule book. Right. Like no, no drinking until after the sun's over the yard arm. Although I'm trying to change that. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think we'd all be better if we drank. Let me just grab a pen, a good pen. Today, it's my pleasure to get to talk to Jim McGovern, uh, who's been in the Congress for almost 25 years, yeah. representing Massachusetts Second District, and is the chairman of the House Rules Committee. He's going to try something different with us. We're calling it Drawn Out. I hope to draw Congress member McGovern out so he can explain who these people are and how they work and how they write the rules. What do people not understand about the Rules Committee? I think the answer is everything. So the makeup of the committee uh, right now is nine Democrats and four Rep Republicans. And then when the Republicans were in charge, it was nine Republicans and four Democrats. And I've been there and done that because I've been in the minority. I'd rather be the majority. The Rules Committee essentially is the traffic cop of Congress. That every bill essentially that comes to the floor goes to the Rules Committee. And we decide whether or not you get to offer an amendment or whether there'll be no amendments and whether you have to vote up or down. There's, there's probably all sorts of ways to either speed things up or slow things right. down. Your job is to help move your, the Democratic agenda forward, or if you're a Republican, you control the Republican agenda forward. We will meet on this COVID relief package and, you know, get it ready to go to the floor um, so that we can get over to the Senate and then hopefully get on the president's desk. We also work very closely with the speaker. You know, part of what my job is, is to help Speaker Pelosi move our agenda forward. Um, and, uh, oh, no, 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 Hold on, let me go. Hey, can I call you back? All right, hey, Elizabeth Warren just he texted me about this. She's in favor, so all right, thank you. Bye bye. Um, so um, the um, all right, I figure out what the hell I was saying. So over on the Senate side, they have these sort of arcane rules. I mean, the filibuster being the obvious one, bird rule, things like that. Are there are there obnoxious rules on the House side that, that sort of interfere with good governance and being no? So the, you know, so the difference between the House and the Senate, or a civilized approach to legislating versus chaos, is that we have a rules committee, right? So I mean, um, if we didn't have a rules committee, then we'd be the United States Senate. Um, you could filibuster everything. So the rules change with each bill. Each bill comes to, to your committee right. and you all decide that there's a level above that that are the House rules, right? We write the House rules, the rules that will govern uh, the Congress for whatever with for the session. I've written a, what we call the McGovern rule, which says that uh, bills that come before the Rules Committee need to have hearings in the committees of jurisdiction and they need to be marked up. Uh, because the Republicans get very comfortable with just sending bills out of nowhere to the right to the Rules Committee. The way the plumbing really works when you get down in the Capitol is fascinating. It's a great committee to be on because you get to have your fingerprints on everything, right? You know, that you're on the Resources Committee, so, you know, you you know you only deal with environmental issues or ways and means you steal tax issues. We deal with them all, right? Now, is there any rule in the House Rules um, about uh, limiting the uh, chairmanship of the House Rules Committee? I serve at the discretion of the Speaker, but I mean, you know, if Pelosi thought I was doing a shitty job, she could just say, you know, goodbye.